in this video we'll be doing a program on string handling the question is write a program to find and print the longest and the shortest word in any given string let us say the string is today is independence day so the longest word is independence and the shortest word is is so how can we ascertain that the longest word is independence you can see the word independence has the maximum number of characters and is has the least number of characters so it is decided to be the shortest word so how to do it in a string program let's go to a blue j editor window now you can see in the editor window i have done the blue j program to find the longest and the shortest word now first we use the scanner class to accept a string from the user. So sc dot next line. Sc is the object of the scanner class, and dot next line is a method which is used to accept a sentence from the user. So after accepting the sentence, I'm storing it in a variable s of string data type. Now, as you know that the s variable is also an object, so it can call different methods which can be used to manipulate the characters in a string so you can see i use integer l a variable to show the length that is the number of characters present in the sentence so i use the length function to get the number of characters in the sentence then i'm using three variables of integer type wl ll and sl wl is used to show the temporary the length of each word of each word the length is stored in the variable wl length means to check how many characters are present in each word ll variable is used to store the length of the longest word or to store the value of the number of characters of the word having maximum number of characters sl variable is have initialized to one now you can see a difference sl variable is used to show the length of the word, the shortest word. You can see a difference in WL I initialize to zero, longest word I initialize to zero, but the shortest length I initialize to length, that is to the whole length of the sentence. Why? Because if I initialize shortest length to be zero, there is no value less than zero. So I have to take the maximum value and check for the minimum value. That is why the shortest length is always taken to be L that is the maximum length of the sentence. Then I have taken three variable of string data type that is W to store temporarily each word in the variable W, LW to store the longest word, SW to store the shortest word in the variable. Then I use my I zero to I less than L in the for loop to extract to get the index as you know, without index, we cannot do anything because all the characters can be accessed with the help of index. So my index starts with zero and the last index uh, of the uh, sentence is L minus one. That is why I take I less than L. And then I plus plus, I have the increment value. Character C equals to S dot character at I, character at I method, as you know, it is used for extracting one character at a specified index. So I am checking over here. If C is not a blank space, then W will have the, will show the value of the C character. Now we'll see how, we'll have a dry run to see how this program will work. Let's say I take in my string S, I take it to be, Say the user enters the value today is independence day. So I this is my s. So in my variable l, I will be having how much value? Today is five. Then I come to six. Space is also counted as a character. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Again, a space 
okay 22 23 24 25 so else value will be 25 because the sentence has got 25 character including the spaces now i'll take the initialization of wl so you can see wl is initialized to zero then you ll is initialized to zero and your sl will be initialized to 25 the entire length of the string now my w is blank so i'm taking three variables you can see lw and i have my sw so this is my initialization done now i'll start with my index value zero so you can see zero it's not a blank space as you know i will go from zero to l minus one that is to 24. so my index value i will go from zero to 24. so i'm extracting one one character at a time that is you will see zero one two three four all you can see they are not blank spaces so you can see it will extract one one character so what happens over there in w you can see in w first it's a blank space so first t will be extracted then adding to it o will be extracted then adding to it d will be extracted then adding to it a will be extracted then y so it will form the word today so you can see the word that will be formed is today in the variable w so after this when blank space will come you can see else part we were checking over here you see not equal to blank space then it was storing one one character so what today has been formed after today when blank space will come we will check what is the length of w w is having today so the length of w will be 5 so it will check is the value 0 less than 5 so i'll be checking over here for ll the checking will be the value is 0 less than 5 yes it is less than 5 so now you can see wl L, uh, sorry lw will take the value w so lw will become will have the value today and ll will take the value of wl so it will take the length to be 5 next we are checking that the shortest length now the shortest length i'm having over here is previously it was 25 so is 25 greater than equals to 5 yes it is greater than equals to 5 so sw will also have the word today in it and this sl will change to 5 now after that you can see after both the checking has been done i'll now make w empty you can see the value of w will now become blank so that it will be here you, i am making w to be blank space so that it will become an empty variable to store new word after that the new word that will be extracted is is because you can see w will have the new word to be is after is when the blank space will come this else part will be executed so it will check the new value of wl will now become 2 so as per our checking is 2 less than over here the checking will be is 5 less than no it is not less than 2 so over here no change will be there in lw but sl now you can see the checking will be is 5 greater than equal to 2 yes so the value of sw will change to is and the value of sl will have the new length to be 2 so after is you can see independence now after is in this blank space this entire process of shifting the value of 
the SW becomes is and SL becomes true. Now the next characters, if C not equals to blank space. So for independence, entire word you will see, it will be extracted and stored in W. So now it will check independence has how many characters in it. Independence has got, over here we have an independence. 12 characters, you can check I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-N-C-E. So the length of WL will become 12. So remember, every time a blank space comes, then the else part is executed. That is, when there is no blank space, there is extraction of word. After that, when a blank space comes, it check whether it's a long, uh, longest word or the shortest word. So over here, now it will check is the value 5 less than equal to 12 yes it's less than equal to 12 so lw will now have this value of w in it and we will have will have ll we change its value to 12 but in case of sl so is not the case because the new value now 2 is it greater than or equal to 12? No, it's not greater than or equal to 12. That is why it remains unchanged. So after that, the next word that will be extracted. Now, after this entire process is done, we make W blank. So the new word that will be extracted is day. So after that, you will see over here, the word day will be printed, showed in the variable W. So the length of day is now 3. Now you can see both the cases there will be no changes. 12 is not less than or equal to 3. And here the value 2 is also not greater than or equal to 3. So you can see the last value that is saved in LW is independence. And the last value that is saved in SW is is. So these are the longest and the shortest one. So after this entire loop, till 24 indexes executed, I'll come out and print the longest word is independence and the shortest word is is. But remember over here, one thing that you need to remember, you need to add for space after the day. After day when the space will come, then only day will be executed. For that reason, you will write a line over here, s equals to s plus space then only the last word will be checked otherwise it will be omitted because we do the checking of the longest and the shortest word when a space is encountered when there is no space there's extraction of word when there is a space then we do the checking of the longest word and the shortest word now you can see we have compiled it there is no syntax error now we go on to check for the output now for the output we are executing it i'll type the same sentence today is independence day so i get my longest word to be So now I run the program. I type the same sentence. Today is Independence Day. And you see, I get my output. Longest word is independence and shortest word is is. So let's go back to our program. Again, we will go through it once again. Now, first I have accepted a sentence from the user. Then I have added an extra space to it. So that whenever the space comes, the checking for the longest and the shortest word will be done. After that, I'm taking the length to find the number of characters in the sentence. Then I'm taking three variables to show the temporary length of each word, the length of the longest word and the shortest word. And then three variable of string data type to show Temporarily, word each word, then to stress 
show the longest word and the shortest word. Then I take a look for the index. It starts from zero to L minus one value. Then I'm extracting one one character with the help of character act method. Then if it's not a blank space, then the process of extraction of word will be done. Else if it's a, when a blank space is encountered, the process of longest word and shortest word checking is done. After the checking, always we make the variable, temporary variable to show each word, we make it blank so that it will hold a new value. Finally, after entire loop, all the index well characters have been checked, then we come and print outside the last value that is there in the variable LW, that is the longest word and the shortest word. Hope you understand the program. Thank you.